this video, I will be showing you step by step how to install Immersive Railroading mod for Minecraft 1.16.4. This mod works for 1.12 and etc. in older versions, but the one we are doing today is 1.16.4. It will support this version. Um, and by the way, sorry, um, it's been like a week and I, I told everyone I would upload like, I guess, once every two days because that's when I have time. Um, but it's been a week. Sorry about the delay. I was busy with lots of things, personal things. Um, yes, but let's get straight into it. Open up the internet. I'm going to type in immersive railroading. If I can spell right. Mod. I'm going to head over to the CurseForge page. You're going to need some mods for this, some child mods. So when you want to open these up in new links. All right, you will need Universal Mod Core and Track API for this. Let's download these first. Universal Mod Core. All right, we want the 1.16.4 version. I don't know why it says 1.16.5, but just to make sure. Yes, let's get this one. 1.16.4. 100. Oh, oh. Fix.jar. All right. I'm going to download that. Alright, that should be downloading. This will render the tracks. You will need track API. And the 1.16.5 version... Uh, yes, 1.16.5 is available, but it's very buggy, and I suggest the 1.16.4. So, we'll see if they have it on here. Yes, 1.16.4. All right, it says 5, but it's 4. Download that. 2, 1. All right, that should be downloading. Keep it because it's not malicious. Immersive railroading. Head over to files. And it says 1.16.5, but it's 4. I don't know why I keep saying that it's 5, but it's 1.16.4. Might have to wait a couple seconds. Alright, this one will take some time. I'm going to pause the video and unpause it when it is done. Alright, my download is complete. Now you want to open up your downloads folder. Drag these to your desktop. And I forgot a step. We will also, sorry about that, need files.minecraftforge.net to go over there. And it will be in the description if you need it. All download links will be down below. Alright, so 1.16.4, you want to download the latest. We need forward for this, sorry. I forgot about that. Alright, you can skip this, because who cares? Nothing safe on here, so please don't click anything. Alright, you want to keep it, because not malicious. Alright. Now, we are going to drag Forge, along with the others, to our desktop. Alright, now you can open up Minecraft. Alright, what you want to do is click Installations New. You are going to go to 1.16.4 and create an installation for this one. Uh, let's just give it emerald or something. I don't know. Give it uh, more RAM. Give it how much RAM depending on your system because I'm giving it... I have 12 gigabytes of RAM, so I just... Um, I can give it up to 6. If you have like 8, give it like 4. 6 gigabytes of RAM, give it the 3 most. Yes. I'll see you when it is up. Alright, here we are at Minecraft 1.16.4. I'm gonna click quit game because, um, yeah, just quit the game. Um, follow these steps carefully. You wanna hit Windows R, navigate to percent app data percent, hit OK. Minecraft, you'll need a mods folder for this. So if you didn't have one, just, if you don't, create one. Alright, I'm gonna throw all my other mods out because I don't need them. I have a folder I put them in. Yeah, so, you wanna take Universal Mod Core. Immersive Railroading and Track API and throw them in your mods folder. Alright, close the window, run Forge. 
All right, you want to hit install client right here. Install client, hit OK. All right, now it is done. So we can throw this away. Run Minecraft. All right, once you're in Minecraft, you should see Forge right here, 1.16.4. Um, if you don't, click Installations, New, and it should be right here, and you can customize it from there. I don't know why it says 5. We'll change that to 4. There it is. We will give Forge a icon. What do you guys think we should do? Uh, TNTs, because I like TNTs. Um, RAM is done. Um, I'm going to play it, and I will see you when it is up. Alright, we are now on Forge 1.16.5. Finally, you can take a deep breath. We now have mods. Um, track API, immersive railroading, universal mod core, and... I totally forgot to install Optifine, and I need Optifine to run my Minecraft, but, um, I don't know what that is. I guess I can do it without Optifine, we'll see. Um, you want to make a world first? Alright, here we are in our world. I'm going to go to full screen. Uh, I can still run it without Optifine, I'm sure I can. Totally should have got it, but whatever. That's what it is. Um... I should be fine. Um, everything will look the same, except when you go in your inventory, you'll see a new section with all of your tools in here. Um, you have your tracks, you have your trains, you have your carts. They all should function, really. Rail and Tiger, I haven't seen this one. Um, yes, yeah, so you can place down tracks, customize your tracks. Um, you can place down carts. Whoa, that is huge. Whoa. Whoa, that's a big cart. Alright. Um, they should move. Not if you push them, obviously. You'll need an engine in front of them, and you can get like a coupling hook right here, and you can couple carts together. It's a really cool mod. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to more content. This will really help my channel grow because this channel is fairly new. Um, I've been working pretty hard to make these videos on a daily. Um, yes. Trigon's, uh, out, really. <laughs> See ya.